In this demonstration, we're going to see how to create a new toolbar and how to use it on the desktop taskbar. First thing we'll do is we'll log into our Windows 8 computer. That takes us to our start screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the charms bar to search for File Explorer. This will automatically launch the File Explorer on the desktop interface. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our C drive and we're going to create a folder that we're going to use to store our new toolbar. So we'll just create a new folder here and we're going to name that Toolbar. Now that we've got our folder in place, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our taskbar and right click, go to the toolbars menu, and we're going to create a new toolbar. This is going to ask us which folder we want to use for that, so we'll browse in this interface to our toolbar, toolbar folder and click select folder. Notice now that we have on our taskbar something called toolbar, which is our new toolbar. In order to populate that, we're going to co-create a shortcut underneath our toolbar folder that we created on the C drive. We're going to create a new shortcut. And we're going to create a shortcut that's going to allow us to lock our screen. Now, in order to do that, what we would do from command line is we would type the command of shutdown.exe slash L for lock. Click Next, click Finish, and now we've got the shutdown start uh, shortcut here within our toolbar. That should show up here underneath our toolbar. If we click here, we see that we now have an icon for, called Shutdown that will lock down that will lock our computer. If we click that, it executes the command and it takes us to the lock screen. Notice that the name of the shortcut was taken from the executable that we called from it. We could go into our shortcut and rename that if we wanted to have it pop up differently on our toolbar.